hello everyone i uh, hope everyone is doing fine and today's video will be very interesting for you guys and we will be learning about stored procedures so let's get started and let's explore this database first and this database is mariadb and we have various features inside this database right uh, i will show you later on so uh, before getting started into the uh, procedures let's understand first what we can do inside a database so inside a database we have various options like tables views procedures functions we can create any of them as per as the requirement right so right now here is the requirement mm, i want it to fetch a data and the query will be more than 1000 line right so what i will do i will write a query and it will give me the desired output right but if i wanted to do this thing again and again right so what i will do i will store this line of queries inside a particular procedure that will be our stored procedure and i will only execute that procedure again and again so let's get started and if you see this left hand side panel i have this appn and inside this i can create functions i can create procedures tables and views right so this is my option which i need to click on and i'll be clicking on this one so you can see i have these procedures here right and if i wanted to create a new procedure so what i can do i can click on this add routine right or i can go inside this sql and i can directly write the syntax which is required for the sql procedures right so uh, i'll tell you the basic syntax here first so this is my basic syntax create procedure so actually there is one more thing it depends on database right right now we are in mariadb so it can be different in oracle it can be different in sql server but right now we are in mariadb right and inside mariadb the syntax is quite different here so let's explore the basic syntax first and after we explore this basic syntax we can go inside the procedure and we will create one procedure and the syntax for mariadb we can get a look inside it after we can execute that particular option and then procedure name procedure one and then as and then begin so this is where we begin our query and for example i'm just writing a small query right so select asterisk from the particular table i am just taking the random table here this one and end so this is the basic syntax for stored procedure right and in between begin and end we will write our query so for mariadb we don't need to write this begin and end we will take a look when we create a procedure by the option so i'm clicking on this procedure option again and i will click on this add routine and i'll directly name the routine name which is august and data right and the type is procedure right and we are not having any parameters right now so i'm dropping this one and i need to give the definition right so i'm just giving the definition select and a a comment dot vehicle id and a a comment dot comment from the particular a a comment table right where we can is equals to one so i'm writing this definition and i'll be saving this definition into this stored procedure i can also modify this by default options provided by the maria db and this is the definer for this particular database security type is definer and i'm just selecting the by default options contain sql and if i wanted to give any comments i can give and i can hit this go button so if you see after i click on this go button this is the query which got executed right so i can copy this and i can understand this and if i copy paste this into my sql and format this one so we have the same syntax right create and we have this extra definer and then procedure procedure name and the, these extra items which is required for the mariadb and then select the particular query and then this this whole query basically and we are not having any begin and and as as well right 
so this is my query and let's create another one august data 2 and I, if i click on go then my query will be executed so this is how i can create a stored procedure and if i wanted to take a look inside this so i will go inside my procedure option and i can see this one right this is what we have created august data 1 and august data 2 right so i can directly execute this right and if i click on this execute i can get the desired output which is vehicle id as well as the comment right so we can see the syntax for execution is call and the procedure name right in addition to this point there is one more thing like uh, we are using call here in MariaDB but in other databases like in Oracle or SQL Server right we need to use execute syntax and we need to write execute and then the procedure name and then execute it so this is how we can create a procedure and we can execute a procedure so in my next video uh, we will be learning about like how we can pass the parameters inside the procedure and how we can retrieve the data right we can use input and output variables there parameters so we will be learning about that also in my next video so see you in the next video and thanks a lot bye bye for contact details and queries you can see the description